Chris Yaron, you've had an interesting week to say the least. You've seen a bit of Australia, I dare say. Uh, yeah, we just flown up to uh, Sydney on, uh, I think it was last Saturday, so I only got back just yesterday before our first intra our second intra club game. But um, disappointing not to play in the All Stars game, but um, lucky enough we played it here today in the wet, soaking wet. But um, that's just good to be back, I guess. What is it about the, the All Stars game that is so special to the players that play it? Um, I just just playing against playing with the other indigenous guys in the AFL. You know, we rarely see them on field, and um, yeah, they're a good bunch of blokes who, who got selected in the team. And um, just the just the history of of you know where all our people come from, and it's just good to give something back to the communities. And you know, they um, really look forward to to the All Stars game every second year. But um, unfortunately, we weren't we weren't able to play it this year. But you know, hopefully, in two years' time, it comes back, and we'll be sure ready to play again. Now, it seemed as though Cyclone Anthony followed you back here to Melbourne, Chris. It was pretty heavy out there uh, today. How did you find the, the half a footy in the wet? Um, yeah, it, was, it was pretty daunting um, starting off because was, it was, when we got in this morning, it was pretty, the rain was coming down and um, we, everyone thought the game was going to get cancelled. But um, we played half. Um, to get that match fitness and conditioning work in um, really helped us for next week against uh, the Pies and, and Richmond. So. And we noticed that you've been uh, playing the first two intra-club games on a half-back flank. Um, it's a new role for you. Uh, how are you enjoying it? And is it likely to be a role that you'll uh, follow through this year? Yeah, as long as I um, you know, defend first and, and attack second, I guess I'm, I'm going to you know, stay on the team, I guess. And um, half-back's a really good position for me, I reckon. Uh, just that rebounding um, half-back. But um, I played on Eddie in, the future, in, in both practice matches and he hasn't, he hasn't scored a goal. So I'm pretty wrapped about that because he's one of the best forward um, players going around in the competition at the moment. So, um, yeah, as long as I defend first and, and attack second, I'll be sweet. Is that why Eddie's been a bit quiet around the place this week? Um, no, nah, not really. I, haven't, I really haven't given him um, much talk about it, but uh, he's, he's a good player and it's hard to, hard to stop him if he's, if he's on song. So. Had you played half-back flank at any stage of your career previously back home? Um, yeah, I played a bit of junior footy back there, but I mean, most of my career has been at forward and through the midfield, but um, half-back's a, a good position for me, like I said, and um, hopefully I can yeah, you know, give something back to the team. Now, um, there's been a lot of discussion uh, both within the club and outside the club through the course of the last week or so, Chris, in respect of the documentary that appeared, Three Boys Dreaming, with some fantastic feedback from supporters who saw it and came away with an even greater admiration for yourself. You know, what were your thoughts of the film and, and you know, the whole process of being involved in it? Yeah, um, it, it came out better than what I expected. Um, you know, the guy, Michael Cordell, uh, followed me up through uh, since I was 14, 15, and um, followed me through state 16, 18s and graduation. My school was well, so until I got drafted. So uh, yeah, it was a lot. It was a, it was a bit hard for me at the start to, to, to kind of talk up and stuff like that. But you know, I got through it. Um, and yeah, you know, like I said, um, like the rewards come with it. And you know, I was lucky enough to get drafted to Carlton, and which I'm wrapped about. So. And, and uh, for people looking on, I think they'd probably get a better understanding of what it takes for a young bloke to come through and play at senior AFL level. It's a, it's a long, hard road, isn't it? Um, yes, yeah, certainly. You look at the other two boys on the documentary, just pretty much just gave it away. And, you know, this is something that I wanted to do and um, I wanted a good career out of it. And, and uh, so I'm coming in my third year now, so and I'm wrapped to where I am now. And, you know, look, unfortunately for the other two guys, they could have made it as well, but um, they had different paths along the way and, and different situations. But... I mean, you know, that's life. you just got to take it as it comes, I guess. Absolutely. Well, look, all the best for uh, next week and beyond, Chris. A uh, big year for you, and uh, let's hope it's a good one for you. No worries. Thanks, Matt.